Yankee. Captain's codes transfer. The updated command structure is incomplete. Please designate a new first officer. Who is the new first officer? Please designate a new first officer. <laughs> When I heard you destroy the Takan Vault, I was surprised. By my order? By myself. Surprised that I was glad to hear it. The Hotari do not wage war or kill our enemies if we can avoid it. But hearing that the Takan, who have decimated my people, took such a loss... Is it wrong that it feels like justice? We've lost so much to the Takan. Things we can never get back. We sometimes have to take lives in the line of duty, but we can never take pleasure in it. A necessary evil? One of many. Oh, it's coming along nicely. Thank you, Tylus. I'll take it from here. We're almost done. I have to brief Ambassador Spock in a few minutes. Ambassador Spock can wait. You have some fences to mend. I know you had your reasons for destroying the Taconian crystals, and I won't question them. Hopefully this galvanizes the bridge crew behind your leadership. But I expect there will be fallout with Portal. Assuming he's still with us, I sincerely doubt he's indifferent to what happened. One of Captain Solano's many strengths was that he welcomed opposing views, and I feel the same. So please don't ever hold back. That doesn't necessarily mean I'll agree, but I want to hear your thoughts either way. Good, because I'll give you my unvarnished opinion whether you want it or not. It's been a chaotic last few days for everyone. You need to name a new first officer in preparation for what's coming. It basically comes down to Westbrook, Ermot, or Bedrosian. Obviously, there are pros and cons with each, but ultimately, the decision is yours. Commander Westbrook has seniority and was hoping to be Captain Solano's first officer. Lieutenant Pedrosian has always been devoted to you. And Ermot has the knowledge and experience that makes him more than qualified. You really couldn't go wrong with any of them. If I were to take everything into consideration, then Lieutenant Pedrosian feels like the perfect fit for the position. Well, despite a lack of seniority, still a solid candidate. Some would argue, though, that you wanted to go the easy route. Someone less likely to disagree with you. But that's entirely your prerogative. You're as good as new. Thank you, Dr. Duvall. Always nice to have a captive audience. You really shouldn't keep Ambassador Spock waiting. We'll have Ambassador Spock via subspace shortly. Thank you, Mr. Armand. Petty officers Diaz and Edsilar have first-hand experience with our adversaries. I thought it advantageous for them to join this briefing. I understand this is unusual, but I trust you have no objections? Talk about moving up in the world. Not that I'm surprised in the least. I'll allow it, Mr. Chobak. In all seriousness, what Diaz and Edsilar accomplished aboard the Zeldi is nothing short of remarkable. They're both to be commended. Not only for surviving against incredible odds, but for helping our efforts against these Scions. You know, Carter deserves most of the credit. None of us would have made it without his help. We'd all be bioformed by this point. Well, I could say the same thing about Edsilar here. She deserves as much of the credit as I do. It's like a mutual admiration society. Ambassador Spock is ready for you. Put him through. Captain Reindeck, your recent change in station certainly warrants mention, and I trust you to faithfully execute your expanded duties. Right now, we must keep our attention on the clear and present danger that lies ahead, the Takan and their warship. The closest populations are the Hotari and Elidian systems, and they are likely the first targets for mass bioforming. 
After that lies Federation space. I have advised Starfleet Command to send an impromptu battle group to intercept and assist you, but that will take time. You are our first line of defense. And with our shield algorithms compromised, we are at a great disadvantage. Of course, you know that as well as I do. I'm glad to hear the battle group is en route, Ambassador. With what we're up against, we're gonna need all the help we can get. And you will have it. Remember, our strength is drawn from our ability to work together towards a common goal. Have we made any progress in finding a way to defend ourselves from the Aphelion's bioforming weapon? Currently, our shields will not protect us, but I am compiling all of the information the away team gathered on the Zeldi and cross-referencing it against our own, as well as Portal 6-3's methods. The away team is sitting right here. They survived without getting bioformed, so we know it's possible. So, what's the secret? How do we defend ourselves? Is there a weakness we can exploit? Something we can do to avoid getting bioformed. Well, simple as it sounds, the best thing to do is to not get caught, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or the whole ship. We avoided the Takan as much as we could. But we saw the bioforming, and there's not much you can do. I found something that might help. It's too soon to say for sure, but we've had some promising indications that Deridium can delay the bioforming process. Deridium? It's not a cure. It's not going to bring anyone back we've already lost. But Deridium is a cell stabilizer, so it has the potential to slow down the onset of physical and mental changes, if not entirely prevent them. And it might be the only ship in the fleet with this much Deridium on hand. In fact, a lot of ships wouldn't have any. You say that it slows the process, but... This doesn't actually stop the Takan from taking over, does it? Correct. I can't be 100% certain, but it appears this is only a short-term solution. Also, it requires a much larger dose to be effective. We don't have enough Deridium on board to protect the whole crew. We barely have enough to protect everyone in this room. Sounds like it won't do us much good, then. The use case I'd suggest is that could buy a little time for an officer or a small group to complete a task or mission. But it has to be taken at the moment of exposure to the bioforming mechanism. Prepare a delivery method for this... remedy. That raises the question. What is the mission? The Zeldi's shields were stronger than anticipated. If the Aphelion has even more effective protection... We'll have difficulty breaking through. We may not be able to block the Aphelion's attack either. But if they do strike, we know their weapon uses transporter technology. We might be able to backtrack their signal path. Like we did to evacuate Captain Rydek from Tau. Exactly. We could send an away team onto the Aphelion. And destroy it from the inside. Modify photon torpedoes to use as explosives. So it's like jujitsu. We use their attack and turn it against them. That's the idea. We'll keep thinking on it. I'd rather not have to take a direct hit to punch back. There might be some other way we can turn their strength into a weakness. I'll have security personnel prep a boarding party, should the opportunity arise. Petty officers Edsilar and Diaz are the logical choices to lead any away mission to the Aphelion. They have already crippled one enemy ship. If anyone can do so again, it is them. This isn't a rescue. It's a tactical incursion. Do you really have some special insights as Commander Chovak suggests? Doesn't the fact that we're here speak for itself? Just surviving won't be enough this time. We found that only a Takan can operate their technology to its fullest. So, unless we want to try to do this with one hand tied behind our backs, we're definitely going to need an assist from this portal guy. I like that even less. Like it or not, that's the truth. Yes. Portal should be part of the away team. There's no question in my mind. If this is the necessary course of action, I support it. 
I will compile all the latest data on the tricorders, just in case. In the meantime, I want you working on ways we can combat the Takan tech. Shields, weapons, anything we can use. Yes, Captain. Anything else, Ambassador? I know this matter is in capable hands. Hold the line as best you can. Help is on the way. Thank you. I have faith in all of you to meet this moment with the urgency it requires. I expect all of us to give it everything we've got. Thank you, Petty Officers Diaz and Edsilar. You're dismissed. While we have a quorum of senior staff, there is a procedural element we need to take care of. The resolute command codes must be transferred to Captain Rydek. For control of the ship. Of course. Computer, transfer all command codes to Captain Jara Rydek. Voice authorization, Ermot, Echo 4 Lima. Voice authorization Duval, Beta, 2, Yankee. Voice authorization Westbrook, Alpha 7 Tango. Awaiting your authorization, Captain. Voice authorization. Rydek. Alpha. Seven. Yankee. Captain's codes transfer. The updated command structure is incomplete. Please designate a new first officer. Who is the new first officer? Please designate a new first officer. It is my honor to name Lieutenant Bedrosian as the new first officer of the USS Resolute. Wow. Congratulations, Lieutenant. I don't even know what to say. I just... thank you. Computer, Lieutenant Bedrosian is the new first officer of the USS Resolute. Awaiting voice authorization. Voice authorization Bedrosian, Gamma 5-9. Authorization is now complete. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's work to be done. Nicely done. I think that went well. Captain Rydek! Excuse me for a minute. This... this is just unbelievable, unacceptable, inexplicable! To be the most senior officer on the bridge, and to be passed over again? I thought we'd turned a corner when you trusted me with the information about Captain Solano being compromised. But boy, was I wrong. And now this? I've never felt more humiliated. I know how you must feel given your seniority and history aboard this ship. You have every right to be angry, but I had to factor what would best serve our interests at this particular point in time. Which is why I chose Lieutenant Bedrosian. And that, that is the greatest insult of all. One of the most junior officers on the bridge! Drosian doesn't have the experience to be an effective first officer. It'll never work. You might as well have chosen Handar! It doesn't make any sense. Bedrosian, of all people. If this was a scientific mission, that would be one thing. But considering what we're up against, Lieutenant Bedrosian is exactly what we need to respond to the challenge. If anyone can find Galvin's weakness, it's her. I see it differently. So I guess we'll have to agree to disagree. Ridiculous. I don't understand. Kimmy got everything she's got, but it doesn't make a difference. Something is actively slowing us down. Keep trying. What's the situation in engineering? I can't raise them. Internal comms are down. It's the ionic interference. 
It's spiking again. If we reinitialize the central communications trunk, it should compensate. I know the process, Captain. With your permission, I'll go handle it. Of course. The Ophelion's impressive. I'll give them that. If they catch up to us, we better be ready to fight. Maybe we can use Galvin's confidence against them. And somehow turn that to our advantage. We can't fight them on their terms. We have to be clever. We're being pulled out of warp! Ophelion rapidly bearing down on our position. We're being hailed by the Ophelion. Galvin demands to be heard. On screen. Captain Rydak. Destroying millions of Taconian lives was a fatal mistake. And I will personally make sure you stay alive long enough to regret it. You were right to run. But there is no escape from the inevitable. Let's not kid ourselves. We both know that was just ammunition for you. I saved millions of innocent people from being bioformed. But you can't even save your own life, much less the lives of your crew. We both know I hold your fate in the palm of my hand. That I could crush you in an instant if I so desired. And as much as I'd like to, you have another purpose to serve. As one of us. Hit the lower decks. But there's no sign of structural damage. They were targeting the crew, not the ship. We have to strike back. While we still can. Fire photon torpedoes! Target the source of the beam! Photon torpedoes are having no impact, Captain. We can't get past their shields. The Aphelion's just too powerful. Damage report from the lower decks. Still can't get through on the comms, Captain. If that was the bioforming ray have to assume there are now Takan on board the Resolute. They could all be Takan at this point. Or will be soon enough. Seal the bridge. No one gets access without my permission. I think that would be wise. Here are your new tricorders. Now go. Get to the transporter room.
on what side, Carter? Come on! Transporter room one. You're coming with us? A security officer told me your funeral, which I gladly accepted. These are concentrated duridium doses. You need to take the dose as soon as you're exposed for it to be effective. Hell, take it right before if you can get the Dakon to wait while you do it. I'm having trouble locking onto the transporter path through the interference. I've done this before. I have to align the transporter with the tetrametric signature. We need to tunnel through the shields. There's a problem. We don't have enough power to make the jump. I might be able to divert power from Stand the... aside. The signal is now resolved. I couldn't let you fumble about any longer. Time is running short. Thanks for that. No need. We must be on our way. I am Portal 63, guardian of the Decon Empire. Nice to meet you, uh, Portal. We're right behind you. Do us proud over there. Ready to transport. Energize. Even to me, it's almost a shame we have to scuttle it. The galaxy has never seen a ship like this. It is beautiful. I'll give you that. Resolute, come in! We're losing cohesion. I'm gonna try to use my tricorder as a pattern enhancer. Are they there? Did you get them? They didn't make it. Oh my god. We have to get to the Cartabula and disable it. Hopefully before the battle group shows up. It gets served up for the Aphelion's next meal. I am... saturated in Taconian power readings. I... can't feel the source just yet. This way. <laughs> 